Jimmy from Solidify and in these sessions I'm gonna go through how to use Scale. We have just installed Scale and are ready to go. This is the first message that you will see. It says no Agile release trains, which means we need to create one. So I click on the button here, new art, and then I get asked to fill in several different options. Let's start with the title. In this case, I'm gonna name it the web order art. I can then fill in a description, but it's optional. I'm gonna leave it empty for this demo. And then I can select the teams that I want to include. My project has already been selected. So let's select the teams. So I've selected three teams that I want to have a part of this art. And I also want to visualize a dependent team. So I click on add dependent team. And then I can select the external delivery team, which I've created in Azure DevOps. Now I can either choose two different layout modes. I'm going to explain each of them shortly. The first one is aligned iterations and the second one is team iterations. If you have all the teams in one project, then I suggest using the aligned iterations. If you want to create arts with teams from different projects in Azure DevOps, then I select using the team iteration layout mode. So in this case, I'm going to use aligned iterations. So let's click on create. We have now successfully created our first art, the web order art. We have three teams and then one dependent team. If I click on the arrow here to the left, which is the expand PI section, we don't see anything. So we're missing a program increment to this art. If I head over to the right and click on the three dots, I get several different options. So I can either add a new program increment to this art. I can add an existing one from the project. I can also edit the art, add more teams or changes if I would like to. I can also set the team order. So perhaps if I want to visualize a specific team in the top of the board, I can set it over here. And I can also delete the art. Let's go ahead and add a new PI to this art. I choose a title. So let's say this is the fifth PI and I would like it to start from Monday next week. And then each sprint should be two weeks. So that's 10 working days. And the whole program increment is a total of five sprints. I click on create. We have now successfully created our first art and our first PI. Now, if I want to head into the board, I will just click on the PI. And this, we have select successfully created our first board. In the next session, I'll go over how to optimize your board and fill in different settings for the board. Thanks for watching.